The disbarred former San Luis Valley District Attorney is now being sued for his actions in office. Alonzo Payne is accused of using his position to prosecute a political rival without merit. Investigative reporter Sean Rice previously exposed how the disgraced DA was violating crime victims' rights before he resigned. Sean joins us live in studio with these new allegations. Sean. Now, Barton Heather, as violent criminal cases were getting outright dismissed on the watch of former District Attorney Alonzo Payne, he continued prosecuting a political rival. Now taxpayers in the San Luis Valley could have to front the bill for it. The DA is supposed to represent me and is supposed to be my attorney and looking for my best interest when he clearly is not doing anything. He can't put any other families through what he put this family through. These are just some of the people impacted by the conduct of now disbarred District Attorney Alonzo Payne. At the same time, the Attorney General's office says he violated their rights as crime victims. Then top prosecutor Payne was working on a case against the opponent in the 2020 election for District Attorney. This is somebody that does it right. He's the proper gatekeeper. Um, he has the right temperament. Chris Miller and Joe Maher represent Robert Willett. Willett was the district attorney in the San Luis Valley before Payne was elected. Near the end of Payne's plagued tenure as the DA, he filed felony embezzlement charges against Willett. Now his attorneys claim the charges were completely fabricated, all just a ploy to publicly humiliate a political rival. He's somebody with a very good reputation, pre-existing. Um, what happened down in the San Luis Valley, and he's entitled to have the public hear his side of things. Willett, a now deputy district attorney under El Paso County DA Michael Allen's office, was charged with embezzlement. In court records, Payne accused Willett of cutting himself a check from the DA's office. But this federal lawsuit alleges Payne's sole reason for filing those embezzlement charges was because Willett was a vocal critic of the myriad of issues plaguing Payne's office. Last year, the progressive DA violated numerous rules of professional conduct for attorneys. The disciplining judge found that Payne did not seek an outside law enforcement investigation or a special prosecutor in Willett's case, which ultimately prevented the courts from determining if probable cause ever even existed in the case. Willett's criminal case was dismissed by a judge nearly a year ago. The judge found Payne's decision to prosecute Willett quote, lacked prosecutorial merit. Today we attempted to reach out to Alonzo Payne for comment, but we haven't heard back. The current district attorney, Ann Kelly, says her office is now, quote, thriving and is completely different than it was a year ago. Reporting live in the studio, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. All right, Sean, thank you.